Day three of working on this Dodge Charger behind me, and as you can see, is in rough shape. So let me explain. As you can see, it was an accident. We still have this to handle, but look at what we got now. So if you don't know, last video, we replaced everything. We had the new doors on, but we ran into an issue. So now we have a black door on and we have the damaged door uh, back on the car as well. So what happened is for the driver door, they gave me the wrong size door. It still go to a charger, but it actually, I think it goes to a newer charger, maybe like a 2018 and up type of thing. This is a 2012, so the door, the front doors are different. They're a little bit longer on the newer ones, but the rear doors are the same size. So I had to sw switch that out. And like I said before, it's a little bit of damage on a lower rocker. So we need to go get that pulled out. So today's goal in this video is to go ahead and get everything on the car. So that way it can be movable tomorrow. So that way we can attempt to pull out uh, the little damage on our lower rocker. So that way that can uh, create the clearance we need to put the doors back because right now they're rubbing. Basically, as you can see right here, it's a very tight, it's kind of like an overlap right there, right there is an overlap right here on the two doors. So the rear and the front. So right, as you can see down there, some damage right there. So what I'm thinking is once it got hit, it pushed in and created a crease down here because you get maybe like an inch to a half an inch of room right here and that makes the world of a difference. So basically we need to take this door and shift it to get this clearance right, which will open up more clearance here to where it won't have a overlay or you know this tight fit. And then that way they can close and open without damage, uh, damaging one another like this here. You see you heard that loud noise and then you see this damage here. Yeah, so we don't want that. That's a no-go. That being said, man, let's get to work. I think what we're about to do right now is tackle the hood. This is going to kind of be a rush video because to be honest, I've been here. Uh, well, not here, but I've been working all day. And I got to go. And my cousin back again. And he got to get ready to go. So we go do, do what we can today. But most definitely, we need this thing to be drivable so we can go ahead and load it up on a trailer tomorrow and get it to the frame uh, shop to see if we can get that rocker counter pulled out. So let's so go ahead and get to work. Okay, so the first step of business, we about to go ahead and install the hood. As you can see, we trying to be very careful with the hood so that way we don't damage it while we putting it on the car. So basically you wanna put it on there. This is a steel hood, so it's pretty heavy. So it's taking both of us to put it on. But once you get it on there, you just sit it on the hinges and you tighten up both sides. So right now I'm on the driver's side and then I rush around to the passenger side to tighten it up as well. It's just two bolts on each side. If you watch any of my videos, you see me do this a hundred million times. So once we get done with that, we could just test it out, make sure everything good. And if it is, it's good to go. So now we can move on to the next thing. Now I'm on the side of the bumper here. So basically it's two of these right here that hold in the fender liner. And then you have a 10 millimeter that go right here you just zip that out and then basically the bumper should come off so we're about to test it out to see if it's going to come off now okay literally just snatch the bumper off like this just be careful because as you can see it's a lot of tabs that go on here so just be careful so you don't break it and then there you go it literally just popped out so now the only thing that's holding it up is this fog light connector so you literally just like lift up and pop it out so you lift up on this tab and just pull out and it'll come out. So now, it's the same thing on this side. This the fall light connector. You uh, pull up right here, and then you pull out. So pull up and pull out. And just like that, we got the old bumper off. So this is what it looks like, the old bumper. Um, I'm probably going to move it over here, to be honest. Sit it right there. But for the most part, uh, I think the fog lights is the only thing that I'm going to transfer over to the new bumper because I have a new grill, which is the big piece, the top grill. And I have a new lower grill as well. So I think the only thing I'm going to switch over is the fog light. So I'm going to get the new bumper, which is in the back. And uh, show you guys what it looked like.
All right, you guys, so this is the new bumper right here. This is the new bumper, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's not um, all the way complete. I'm gonna get it to sit up for you guys, but it's not all the way complete. So basically we need the main drill, we need the lower drill, and we need the fog lights. So those are the inserts for this bumper. So basically I'm gonna just switch over the fog lights from that one to this one, put all the new grills in it, and smack it on the car. So watch me work, man. Right now I'm using a eight millimeter to take the headlight assembly apart. Not the headlight, but the fog light assembly apart. So basically it's just like four, four bolts you gotta shoot off. And then it just comes out. So basically we're gonna take this, sit it here with the screws and then on the front side, we have to take this in, this insert out, which is right here, just like that, and we're just going to repeat it. So this is on the right side. So now we have to put it in that one. Now we have to put it in this one on the right side. So basically, it just goes the same way, but be careful because. Obviously, this is the freshly painted one, so you don't want to damage it, but it just clips right in. So then you take the fog light, um, it sits in like this. So remember the angle of the sensor, so you know you're putting it in right, but basically it sits in just like that. It's a few tabs that it sits on. Take your screws, and your eight millimeter, lefty loosey, righty tight. So the fog light insert was pretty good. We got that done. It looks very good. So now it's time to move on to the upper grill. So this one is 100% different from the last one. The last one, the original grill was chrome on the car, but I decided to switch it up and go with a black one. So this one is all black and it looks very, very good to me. So now you just got to make sure you push it in very tight so it can get into all the connector points. And then that way is two um, bolts on it on the side that you have to tighten down as well just to make sure it's 100 percent secure um to the actual bumper itself so once you get done with that it's super easy and you're done and then you can go ahead and install it onto the car but make sure you have all your um, nuts and bolts down tight all right you guys so i got all the stuff done well, we got all the stuff done with the front bumper. So, well, pretty much the front end of the car. So I'm about to show you what it looked like. Here we go. So this is the front end of the car. It looks totally different now. Actually, it looks pretty sweet on camera. So that's the front grill. It's the bottom part. The tabs came out, so we got to push that in. And this side is a little bit loose, so I got to make sure I secure that. But this is just a test fit. So as of right now, the hood is not all the way down. And the bumper is not lifted all the way up. So don't worry about that. Everything else fits perfectly. As you can see on this side, it looks good. And then coming around on this side, it looks good too. And then you already know what we're doing with that tomorrow. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This boy low key coming right along. So this is good enough to where we can uh, load it up tomorrow. So that way we can go ahead and get this right here situated. But honestly, I think I'm going to um, actually take the front end off. So that way it doesn't get damaged during transporting the car because there's already a few scratches already on the stuff. So I'm going to have to touch up the paint. And it's a lot of tedious work now. We're starting to find a lot of little details that's messed up on this car that we got to get fixed. So my goal is to have this thing done within the next two days. So I'm trying to minimize 
all this little small stuff that I gotta fix. So let me show you the scratches. I got one here and then just pretty much along this edge and right here. And then it's one uh, on the passenger door, right? This is the passenger door. So like right here. So with that being said, you can see all the imperfection in the paint that we got to go over. But at the end of the day, we made a lot of progress on the car today uh, with the limited amount of time that we had. But we most definitely got the goal completed. We have the car ready to load up on the trailer and get this thing prepared and dropped off for the frame pulling. We got to get this thing on the frame machine so we can pull out the side um, rocker so that way the doors can line up. So that's what we're going to do next episode and stay tuned.